Look, Novikov's expecting a heads up before we trigger the display, uh, so we can watch it. Welcome back, assassins, to some more Hitman. You noticed I started at a very different place, and the reason is, happening. as you complete challenges in the level, certain things unlock, including the ability to start at different locations. And there's a challenge to start at this specific location oh, called Tech Support, and then to pick up the fireworks remote unlocks the challenge Playing With Fire. I'm going to be showing you two different playthroughs of this mission in this episode, one in which I'm going to kill the targets using a sniper rifle, and then I'm going to do the suit only silent assassin challenge next. But for now, I just grabbed the fireworks remote and I'm actually going to run to a vantage point where I can snipe the targets. And in fact, during the planning stages of the mission, not only did I start upstairs as a tech support crew, but I also made sure the ICA left me some goodies over here in the shed, including a sniper rifle. Again, you can uh, set this during the planning stages of the mission to make sure that the sniper, sniper rifle is there for you. Okay. And I'm just timing this, making sure none of these bodyguards are going to cause me a nuisance. Also, during the planning stages of the mission, I made sure that Agent 47 has a lockpick. Because I'm going to have to pick the gate here. Excellent. And I'm actually going to go ahead and start the fireworks. Nice. And when you do start the fireworks, you get the challenge. Salute too soon. And now that the fireworks are going, I'm going to position myself to take some sniper kills here. Because both of the targets are going to come out in order to appreciate the fireworks. And that's the last thing they'll ever appreciate in life, because they're going to be eating a bullet to the head. Now the challenge here to kill them with a sniper rifle is to kill both of them within 10 seconds of each other. It should be pretty easy. And I like this spot because you can just really appreciate the view of the level here. Really cool, faithful recreation of Paris. Just really nice. I've been to Paris once in 2007, almost 10 years ago. And I really enjoyed that trip. And playing through this level actually kind of almost brought me back to that place, which attests to how good of a job they did recreating that atmosphere here. So let me get my sniper rifle ready because the targets are going to be coming out pretty soon. I'm going to begin with Dahlia up here in the upper balcony, and then Victor's going to be in the lower balcony right below her. Okay, as soon as she stops right there, let me make sure it's kind of hard with the Xbox controller to get well very precise. And there we go. Both targets are down. Great work. Now if you kill someone with a headshot, you get the challenge straight shot, which you saw there in the top right. And then if you kill them both with a sniper rifle, within 10 seconds of each other, you get the challenge. Uh, God, what was it called? In plain sight, that's what it's called, there we go. Now before I run out of here, I do want to hide behind this thing because a bunch of bodyguards and guards and stuff are going to come running over here to try and investigate stuff. I'm going to leave my sniper over here. So now it's just a matter of waiting for some people to come investigate this area. And then as soon as they're done investigating, I'm actually going to run onto the lawn and get out of here via helicopter. Because that's another challenge to escape the mission via helicopter. I think that challenge is called Novogov's Personal Ride or something like that. Again, if you watch all of my videos, you will see each and every challenge for every mission in this game. And again, I spent a lot of time organizing these videos. That way they're organized in a, cer in a certain way that I'm doing the levels as least the least amount of times as possible while getting the most challenges out of them and not repeating things making it as entertaining as possible. And while there are not that many videos or content in this game so far with the first episode, you'd be surprised with how much time I actually take to make these videos compared to some of the other stuff on my channel. It takes a lot of planning and organizing and practicing. You stop jerking around and come out so we can all go home. All right, so those are the guys. They know that that's yeah, probably the only spot that a sniper here. could hide, so Pretty smart of them to go check over there, but kind of dumb for them not to clear the entire perimeter here. Dispatch, please acknowledge. 
put it another way, where the hell is everybody? We got some jerk fucking around over here. They're freaking out, but they're being utterly incompetent right now. So even though I'm in a crew member disguise, and people wouldn't raise an eyebrow at that, if I were carrying the sniper rifle on my back, they would definitely see something fishy with that. That's why I'm leaving it over here. That way when I go back up to the lawn to get out via helicopter, nobody's freaking out at a crew member leaving with a sniper rifle behind his back. But it ain't. So stay sight. Back to work. I get you. Okay. And I think they're about to leave here. Man, the situation is full bar. So actually, as soon as that little white dot goes away above his head, it's okay to come out. Like, if I were to come out right here, he wouldn't think anything of it, which I think is kind of silly. But I guess for cinematic purposes, I'm not going to let him see me. I'm just going to sneak out behind him. And I'm definitely going to be escaping in fashion via the helicopter. Which is still kind of blows my mind how somebody can just steal a helicopter like that and fly away. It's okay, though. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. So, enjoy this very luxurious exit, and I guess coming up, I'm going to show you the suit-only Silent Assassin version of this mission. Which is challenging, but it's fun. Okay, so this time around, I'm going to be doing the suit-only Silent Assassin. And if you don't have it already, you'll also be seeing the No Evidence challenge, I guess. And you can notice my very snazzy suit here. Beautiful white suit. This is the Requiem suit, which is a pre-order bonus if you pre-order the game. I'm actually going to come in here and begin by grabbing this invitation. That way I can get all the way upstairs without having to get a disguise and by grabbing the invitation you get to challenge an invitation upstairs which is pretty nice I figured I'd wear a snazzy suit for the suit only challenge so let me show my invitation here just need to see your invite sir I'm glad they forced me to show my invitation, but they don't even care about this lady just sneaking in right in front you, of them. Sir, please continue. It's also important during the planning stages of this mission to not bring in any weapons, because you will get frisked before getting all the way to the top floor. Green light. Go ahead, sir. And once you make it past the second batch of security guards, you do get the challenge, I'm invited. And this is where you get frisked. Sir, I need to check that you're not carrying anything dangerous. So, okay. I made sure Sorry, to start sir. the mission without my destroyed. pistols or anything like that. Thank you, please proceed. Okay. So over here, instead of going to the Good auction, evening, please come right I'm going to head into the attic. And that way I can crawl into Dahlia's secret room here. The Voltaire Suite, unnoticed. Now I'm in the bathroom, but in the actual room there's a guard you can see there on the mini-map. So I'm going to have to get rid of him. And let me just wait for Dahlia and her bodyguard to leave the room. And then I'll take care of the guard right there on the left. So let me just wait a little bit. Again, I'm just watching the mini-map so I know that my timing is okay. Timing is very important in this mission. That's why I really want to pay attention to it. Okay, and I can see Dahlia and her bodyguard have left, so now I'm going to take care of the guard there by turning on this radio. And again, in order to get Silent Assassin, you can't kill anyone, so I'm just going to subdue him, of course. And you have to hide all the bodies, so... Gonna be hiding him. Okay, and I'm gonna turn off the radio, but I'm gonna leave this gun here 
for a very good reason. You'll see why soon. And I'll just have to wait for Dahlia to come back around, but I guess I can dance in my snazzy outfit while I'm waiting. Oh yeah, to the side, to the side, to the other side, to the other side, and figure eight. Do the figure eight. Just killing some time here waiting for Dahlia. I'll probably edit this out because I have to wait maybe like two minutes. I forgot how long it is. Still dancing here. And I can see Dahlia entering the main room right now, so let me get into position over here by the sink. And again, if you look at the minimap, as soon as she enters the Voltaire suite, I'm gonna turn on the sink. Timing is very important. Something's amiss here. One guard short. Okay, now let me hide. And get my fiber wire ready. And because the sink is being overflowed, her bodyguard is gonna come in here to investigate. Okay. That's pretty funny. And while he's in there investigating, I can choke that and kill Dahlia. Dahlia. And hide her body right in here. Nice and perfect. Nobody's gonna see anything. Now the reason why I left that other bodyguard's gun on the floor is so that Dahlia's bodyguard gets confused by the gun and now he's gonna go grab his friend to investigate this firearm on the floor. As opposed to looking around this room when he comes out. So he's pretty pissed off about that gun, so he's gonna grab another guard, and while he's doing that, that's my perfect time to escape back into the attic. Okay, perfect, and now I can just run back downstairs. It's only a matter of taking out Viktor Novikov next. There's a few ways you can do this. You can actually poison some food to get rid of his bodyguard, but that requires a lot of running around. I think this is the fastest way to do it. But again, timing is extremely crucial, so if your timing is not the same as mine in the game, things are going to be a little bit different as far as taking out Victor. But basically, I'm going to try to set out a panic here by pulling the fire alarm. And then Victor's going to go into hiding in the basement. That's going to be my opportunity to take him out. Okay, so I'm going to go to the basement where I know Victor's going to go. He's going to be there with his bodyguard. And again, there are ways to get rid of the bodyguard before doing this. But it just requires a lot of time and running around. This is the most efficient way to do things. Alright, he's going to be running right through here with this bodyguard. And I'm going to be totally ready for him. They're going to be running so fast, they won't even know that there's like somebody behind them. There's a bodyguard. And then he's a little bit ahead of Victor, so I can that run up behind Victor. Head of and, and boom, right before he passes the door, or before he passes it, I can choke him out and dump him in here. Both targets are down. Great work. Now head towards the next. Now before running out of here, I do want to be careful because his bodyguard did notice that Victor's no longer behind him, so he's going to come investigate. And I don't want to get noticed or seen or anything like that, so I'm just going to wait for my perfect timing to get out of here. And again, this will get you multiple challenges. It'll get you Silent Assassin, it'll get you Suit Only, Silent Assassin, Suit Only combination, no evidence, so a bunch of challenges. As soon as this guy turns around, I'll run out of here. And also, I'm going to escape here through the basement, and that's going to unlock another challenge called Onto the Catacombs. Nothing here. Okay, so right through here. Oh, and I forgot you actually have to, like, exit the mission over here as opposed to running in. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to like the video. And I'll see you next time where I'm going to be doing more challenges and showing you more cool ways to beat the mission. See you next time.